So I'm making a return to some Apple videos and some technology videos again. You know, I've been looking at gaming. I've deviated a bit with the little car that could, a tribute to my favourite car, the Mini. Now I'm getting back to some Apple videos. Now, for the longest time, I've been looking for a good screen capture utility for the Mac. I mean one that can do video, audio, audio inputs, and is very flexible for me. Now, I, if you look at my video, A Question of iPods, I use a program called I Show You, but I use the demo, so there's big demo text splattered everywhere. Now, I Show You looked like a fantastic program, but I wanted to review it properly. So I sent an email along to Shiny White Box, the developer, found out they were from New Zealand, and said, you know, I've got a YouTube channel, blah -de blah blah got a reply back really quickly saying, we'd be happy to supply you with a free review license, uh, and you can use it in your videos, provided you credit us at some point. No problem. So guys, perk of being on YouTube, just got given a free piece of software that I can use in my videos and also review for you guys to encourage you to buy it because it is a pretty fine looking program. So what I'm going to do now is show you, I show you, <laughs> and uh, you can have a look for yourself. So here we are in I show you, we've just opened it up from the dock and when you first start I show you, you'll get a window like this. On the left here you've got a bunch of presets ranging from 1080p through a number of popular formats all the way down to YouTube resolution. You can also add or delete your own custom presets. I have one here, iMac, which as you'll see later on records the entire screen on the computer. So once you've picked your preset, you can fine tune it over here. You can record microphone audio as I'm doing now, and you can also record system audio and you can twiddle these as you'd like. You can choose the audio quality, where it's getting its microphone input from, what microphone monitor, system audio monitor. It also includes Soundflower for better audio management, and that's free and downloaded with the program. Video, uh, you can see it frame rate, scales, quality, compression, whether it is or not, mouse recording, mouse clicks, whether they do anything, make a noise, do something or other, the capture size, countdown, and a bunch of options in here. So that's basically your first area out here, and then if we go out into the computer, the activity monitors and all this sort of thing, uh, I will note that you need a reasonably powerful CPU to run, I show you. They specify a minimum 1.4 G4, I would say a G5 or an Intel processor, and as you can see, there's myself now talking into the microphone, lovely uh, pimples and crap on my face. But as you can see, the computer functions normally, and this is great because I can go, oh, look at me, I'm going to my YouTube channel. Well, hey, you know, and you can go through like that. So it's a great program because it's got lots of options for you to customize. A lot of the other programs limit your options. I show you doesn't really at all. In the preferences here, you've got all of your options here, tracking speed of mice, color of capture retail, where the files are stored, console logging, shortcuts, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, software updates. It also uses Soundflower. Soundflower allows you to do more complicated audio mixing with your Mac without special hardware. So, you know, you could do all kinds of things with this. You could do a live type tutorial if you really wanted to, you know, and I could go through and I can open up some stuff and show you what I'm working on. What have I got here? Yeah, just saying I'm working on for the uh, YouTube channel. You know, all kinds of stuff that you can show your audience and your viewers. So here we can see live, uh, live type rendering a title. And once it's finished rendering, which you can see down here, it'll play this through faster as it's meant to. So we'll just have a look at that. And of course, I can add stuff to that there. So that's basically a demonstration of what I show you can do. Now I show you is $20 US, uh, which is a pretty good price considering what it can do and the quite the broad range of customization that you uh, that you're given. Um, as I said, extremely customizable, um, very easy to use, reliable, um, great menu bar access up here. You can talk about you know, what you're doing here, quick start, quick start, stop. The files it produces, of course, are fully compatible with iMovie here or Final Cut or whatever you might be using. Um, it's a great way to just visually show what you're doing. 
and uh, yeah, definitely a good price. So overall, I'd recommend the program. If you're looking for a good screen capture, I show you should do the job for you. Um, thanks again to Shiny White Box for giving me a review copy. That was very generous of you. Also here, I show you HD is coming. Now this is real proper ground up HD. Uh, there'll be a page up with some information. I'll keep you updated on that. And you might be able to get your hands on it. And then you're getting back to the coding. So now that I've reviewed I show you and highly recommend it. And you know, someone's obviously going to call me out and say, eh, you're just biased. But honestly, you know, it, it does what it's meant to. And it's got just that high level of customization, the extremely competitive price, and all the features which really team up to make a package that's pretty hard to resist. Buy A's or not. Um, if you're looking for some great Mac software, head over to shinywhitebox.com. Thanks for listening, guys, and uh, leave you with myself. We'll catch you next time.